What's up guys, it's Jordan from Blackwater Japan and today I'm going to simply show you how to check your check engine light codes on your early Lexus Toyota OBD1 cars. Alright, so the first thing you're going to want to do is get a little jumper wire like so. This is simply just some speaker wire that I opened both ends on. You can also use something like a paper clip. The next thing you're going to want to do is pop your hood like so. And today we're using a 1992 Lexus ES300 as our demonstration car. Once you pop your hood, you're going to look for something like this. This is diagnosis across it. And usually you'll have a little tab right here and you'll pull out and pick up on that and it'll open right up. I'll show you guys what it looks like opened up. It'll look something like this. Mine's a little dirty. It looks like someone put some dielectric grease on it back in the day. And basically what we're gonna look for is we're gonna find the slots that say E1 and TE1. So you can kind of see them there. They're in this first big square here. E1 and TE1. So we're gonna find those on here, even though this looks crazy rusty. And E1's gonna be this corner one here. And it looks like TE1 is gonna be the middle one on the second row here. And what you're basically gonna do is just stick your jumper harness in there like so. I'll show you. And when you have your jumper wire properly inserted, it'll look something similar to this. Now we're gonna go back inside the car. So now we're back inside the car. We have the TE1 and E1 jumped. Now we're going to put our key in the ignition and turn it to accessory mode. But before we do that, we're going to pay attention over here to the check engine light. And we're basically going to count the number of blinks. So I'll show you an example right here. One, two, three, four, five, pause, one, two, that's 52. That would be code one, two, three, four, five, pause, one, two, three, four, five. And then it'll stop if there's no more codes, and then it'll reset and do it again. So essentially that was code 52 and code 55. So now we're back inside at my computer and we are here at the trouble codes list of OBD1 codes. So we had 52 and 55. So we're gonna scroll down here and we will see 52 is for knock sensor signal. And this guy does not have 55 listed, but 55 is also for the knock sensor signal. So that's pretty much it. That's all you got to do is look up the codes online after you jumped them and counted the terminals. So hopefully this helped you guys. If it did, like, comment, subscribe. Peace. What is it, kitty? What is it? Alright guys, bye.